Hey Minecrafters, Nick here with another Minecraft tutorial. Today what I want to do is I want to show you how to build an iron farm that works well for version 1.14. Uh, things have changed between versions 1.13 and version 1.14 quite a bit, quite a bit. There's been many changes to the way that uh, villagers work. Uh, 1.14 is the village and pillage update. And just in case you haven't noticed yet, uh, if you had an iron farm that worked in 1.13, uh, it will probably no longer work in 1.14. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to build a nice 1.14 compatible iron farm that should give you roughly about a thousand iron per hour, uh, which is which is pretty good. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is just place down a couple of chests, and that's going to be our catchment area. And you need to have nine uh, hoppers all facing into each other so that no matter what falls on the hoppers, they all go into the chest. Uh, and from there, we're just going to put a little bit of glass around. Uh, from here, I'm going to count up uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and Let's go, let's go 20, just, just to be safe, because we want to make sure that we're not going to have things uh, spawning in the wrong area or have you know iron golems where they're not supposed to be. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and drag all these things up. Uh, now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do cuts in the middle of this video. I may well do, uh, but I might not, uh, depending on how easily this goes. Uh, I'm not the quickest builder. I don't uh, use commands to do building. I just sort of do it old school, um, you know, put in the work, throw down the blocks, and leave the commands to somebody who's smarter than I am. All right, so once we've got this done, all we need to do is make the sort of burning area where we can catch all of these iron golems and burn them alive and take all their yummy iron, because that's, that's really what we want them for. Uh, it's all about the iron. Uh, let's just go a little higher there. Okay, so... The idea here is we just want to make a, a little box where we can put all of these golems and they'll just get burned up. And to do that, I'm going to come in here and right on the second level, I'm going to place a sign on the glass, another sign there and another sign there. And then in front of each of these signs, I'll put two more signs. And what that will do is it'll give us sort of a canopy that we can put some lava on, which won't let uh, just one in that corner and one in that corner should be enough. And now you have a nice little area where if an iron golem falls in there, he'll light on fire, burn up, and all of his iron and his poppies will end up in this chest. So to get going here, uh, what I'm going to do is these top uh, four things I'm just going to replace with sea lanterns. Uh, and then from there, uh, let's, yeah, we can just use some andesite. Uh, I'm just going to build a little box around here. Little little tiny box around here to make a three by three hole for the iron golems to fall in. And then I want to count out one, two, three, so that there's four, uh, four blocks there and four blocks there. I guess I need to have another one, don't I? Uh, if I want to build a wall here, just to be sure. Boop, boop. Okay, so that, that should do the trick. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to just build a box that goes all the way around. I'm sorry if I'm doing this slowly. I know I could do a cut in here and just sort of finish it off. I probably should do that. Uh, but for the moment, I'm just going to, you know, gab away and talk about the, the design of this. This is something that I, um, it took me, a, you know, a few tries of, of designing something. Uh, but I think that this is a really good design. I really do. I think it's... Uh, it's fairly easy to build, and as I say, if you have one of the old-style kind of Doc M uh, iron farms, this is this is something that you can convert easily, uh, especially if you have villagers that are right there and you're in survival mode. If you're in creative mode, this is no problem at all to build because you can just you can plop down the the villagers and the zombies just with eggs. Uh, but if you're if you're playing in survival, of course, that's not an option. Uh, and you're going to have to go through a little bit more pain, but I'll show you how to do this uh, as simply and easily as possible. Uh, so all I have to do is just finish off this little base here. Burp, burp. Uh, and we're just going to put those down. Okay, and now we just want to ring the outside of this here uh, with some blocks. Got a block in the middle there. And I fell off the edge. 
this is the reason why you don't record uh, everything that you do. It's, <laughs> it's so much easier just not to have people see you make mistakes. All right, now, uh, before we do this, we need to put in some temporary blocks covering the hole here. Um, and that's just because the water won't flow properly. And this only takes four buckets of water, one in each corner. And I know this will look a little strange to begin with, but once it's done, you get this little sort of pattern here. You can break out the temporary blocks now. If you don't put in the temporary blocks, you won't get water right in the middle. So uh, those are important. Now what you'll notice here, this is our spawning area. And even though there's a little bit um, that's not covered by water, you don't have to worry because iron golems, they're about, um, what, 1.4 or 1.5 blocks wide. Uh, so there's no chance that an iron golem will ever stand here and not get pushed off by the water. All right, now the next thing we need to do is we need to build out uh, four deep. So we've got uh, four there, and then we can start building up a wall. And in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and put all of these blocks out here, four, four deep all the way along the whole thing, and I'll be right back. Okay, that's all done. Now we have a four deep platform all the way around our little spawning area. And the next thing we need to do is build a glass wall all the way around everything. Uh, we want it to be three high, so just start building a glass wall all the way around that's three high. Uh, I'm just going to get that done, and once again, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I've got the wall all the way around the outside. It's three high, and I also added uh, one high glass just around the middle area here to stop iron golems from spawning on these bricks here. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to have a place for villagers to uh, live, to sleep, and to work, because that's uh, those are the requirements for getting iron golems to spawn nowadays. Uh, villagers need to sleep, they need to work, and uh, they need to gossip. Uh, throughout the day for, for iron golems to be able to spawn. So what I'm doing here is I'm just putting workbenches, and they can be any kind of workbench uh, at all, any kind of thing. It could be a cauldron, it could be um, a brewing stand, a loom, a cartography table, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm using smithing tables because I like the way they look, uh, and they're fairly cheap to build because they take uh, four wood and two iron, uh, so they're pretty cheap to build. Uh, once you've done that, you just put uh, a line of workstations all the way around the outside. The next thing we want to do is just put down beds all the way around. Let's just... Um, oh, oh, I can't even type. Uh, just put a line of beds all the way around the outside. Uh, and you'll notice that right here in the corners, uh, these last two beds are sort of sharing a workstation, but that's okay. Uh, not to worry. It, this will all work out just great. Uh, but all we need to do is just put down these beds. Uh, I'm using red beds because, hey, why not? Why not add some color? Uh, and I'm almost done. Just got to go through and put all the beds down. Now, if you're building this in survival, uh, one thing I would advise is make sure you get your villagers in here first uh, because that's important. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build another, uh, just a little box in the corner that is all the way around. It's three high. Uh, and this is going to be used to house a zombie. Uh, but right now, we don't, want to, we don't want any zombies involved, especially if you are uh, doing this in survival, because uh, it's, it's a bit of a pain <laughs> to, to get all this done uh, at the same time in survival. So I really strongly advise uh, just doing this. Just build these little glass containers in the corner. Uh, and right here, what we want to do is we want to build another rim of glass uh, all the way around. It's just, just above the workstations and it will sort of break that corner there. Um, and when, while you're breeding villagers, uh, you might also want to put a glass brick right there. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to do it just because I'm doing this in creative and so I don't need to worry about it. But if you're doing this in survival, uh, it's a good idea to put a glass block there to prevent baby villagers from running between this area and this area. Uh, the easiest way to to do this, if you're in survival, just get two villagers. Put two villagers in here and keep on throwing carrots or potatoes at them until they've bred all 15 uh, beds worth of villagers. And due to the way that things work now, um, you're, you need to have one bed for each villager that is uh, bred. So don't worry about it. Just keep on throwing carrots at people until you get all 15 beds filled up. Uh, but at the moment, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here get uh, a villager egg, and I'm also going to get a zombie egg. 
uh, because that's going to be important uh, in just a little bit. But what we want to do at the moment, and also I'm going to say time uh, set to night. And if I do that, I, I do that mainly because it makes these people sleep right away. So it's just easier to fill up the beds, um, you know, get one person per bed. Uh, if you're doing this in creative mode, it's just it's a lot easier than having them running around during the daytime uh, because you never really know how many you, <laughs> you have running around in there. So just run around, oop, run around your village, uh, just putting in one person per bed until they're all filled up. And we're almost done that. We've got one more side to do. Oop. It's funny how sometimes they jump beds. Sometimes they decide they don't want to sleep right next to somebody else. Uh, it's like bathroom etiquette, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so we're just getting in the last couple of villagers here. Uh, I don't know why they jump around like that. That's really strange. It's like they, they don't want to sleep next to each other. They, they want some space. Okay, so once you've got all of those down, um, the next thing I would suggest doing is uh, just putting a cap. A cap on here, which will consist of just a half slab. Um, you don't have to have it all the way across. Uh, but that's that's the way I like to do it. So I'm just going to put all of these things all the way along. Uh, we may as well um, time set day again. And I'm going to finish off this roof, and I will be right back. Okay, now we've got the roof on. Uh, believe it or not, I've already seen a couple of iron golems fall down here, and we can go down near the bottom and check it out. Uh, what have we got in here so far? I've, I've got 10 iron already. And that is without even having our little uh, scary zombies. Now the next thing you should really do uh, is have a name tag. Let's get a name tag here uh, and we'll need an anvil because I have to give a name to the name tag uh, because this is important because we don't want any zombies that we put in here to disappear. So we'll just put down a name tag in here and we'll call him, um, why not call him Boo? Because he will scare the villagers. So we'll call that Boo. And what's important now is to get a single uh, zombie in the corner and give them a name tag. Uh, I would suggest, oh, okay, that's that's a bad idea. We should have gone into night mode. This guy's probably gonna die. <laughs> Just give it a second or two for this poor zombie to burn. Okay, no, he didn't burn. Uh, so uh, here, oh. let's just go to nighttime uh, and that'll make it easier so we don't accidentally burn our zombies. And we wanna make sure we put a zombie egg in here uh, and one of those, and then maybe a sea lantern on top and cover that up. And just like over here, sea lantern, cover it up. And the reason why we have a roof on here is just to make sure that no lightning strikes will kill your villagers and nothing bad will happen to them over time. Okay, that's a baby zombie. We don't want a baby zombie. Well, that's a quicker way, isn't it? <laughs> we just break out the floor. Uh, let's try that again. We'll put down a zombie. That's a big zombie. That's what we want. Uh, name him Boo. And then I'm gonna put down another sea lantern right on top of them and lock him in there. Now, the sea lantern should stop anything else from being able to spawn in there uh, because you, you wanna make sure that you don't get a creeper spawning in there or something, something silly. Uh, we'll put another sea lantern and cap that off. And at this point, the iron farm is done. Now, the way that this works, you'll notice that, uh, well, how can I start? Il Mango put out a video just a little while ago that showed you how to make an iron farm uh, and it used redstone to sort of hide the zombies and then bring them out uh, at particular times to make sure that everything worked the way that it's supposed to. Uh, but you really don't need to do that. That's that's a little overcomplicated if you ask me. Um, what you need to have is you need to have villagers that can sleep and villagers uh, that can work uh, and also gossip. Oh, and the, the final thing that I haven't done here uh, I'll just break my way back in, and we need to break out uh, this piece of glass, that piece of glass, and that piece of glass from all four corners. Uh, and what that does is that lets the zombie see the villagers. Uh, it won't let the villagers out. It won't let the zombies out. Um, but we need to make sure that we do that, uh, because the zombies need to be able to see the villagers to scare them. I'll just do that on that side. Uh, run over here. Break out one, two, and three, and then we can just fly back up out here. Where was my hole? There we go. Okay, now as soon as we've done that, uh, it may take, roughly speaking, a day's worth of time for this farm to warm up and start working. But there you go. There's two zombies, or <laughs> two iron golems right there. Uh, 
And there's a third. The way that this, this particular design works is you'll notice that during the nighttime, at least three of these guys can sleep without being scared by the zombies because the zombies can only reach out about seven, uh, about seven blocks deep, or it's, you know, scare people about seven blocks deep. So you should have uh, the three guys right in the middle, uh, almost always sleeping during the night uh, and almost always working during the day because they're, they're out of reach or out of sight from this little scary zombie over here. Uh, and right there, we got another two iron gall. The good thing about this farm is that because people mill around, um, different people sleep in different beds, uh, you know, whenever the nighttime comes around. So you have a chance that a different villager uh, will be able to sleep and a different villager will be able to work. Uh, and of course, during, during the day, uh, they sort of go gossip with each other uh, about the need to get an iron golem in here. And if we just kind of hang out for a bit, uh, this, this farm should start working at full speed pretty soon. Uh, it really doesn't take that long, maybe about a day. There we go, look at that, four iron golems all at once uh, spawning in here. So uh, you won't often get four iron golems at once, it's usually three, uh, but this design will support four at once. And, oh my goodness, let's get rid of that because we don't want lightning strikes. Uh, and you can just come down here and see that already we've got pretty much a stack of iron. And that's just from me building it. But over time, I think that this farm should give you, roughly speaking, about a thousand iron per hour. Uh, and there's, you know, three guys forming all at once. One of the things that's nice about this is that because the spawning area is small, um, the iron golems will get out of the way and fall to their death so that new iron golems can spawn fairly quickly. And the, the mechanics for how things spawn and how many iron golems you get, uh, they're very different than they used to be. It used to be that you needed to have, you know, uh, doors instead of beds to make a village. Uh, now it's beds instead of doors. And it's not really about the number of villagers that you have. It's, it's really about um, the amount of gossip that they do. Uh, so there's another three iron golems. As you can see, this, this farm, it works really well. Uh, we should be way over a stack by now. By the time these guys go, two or three iron apiece. We'll get another 12, so we should be up to about 20 maybe, if we're lucky. Maybe a little bit less. Oh, no, perfect. <laughs> right on the nose. Um, and look at these little little spiders up here. Go away, spider. We don't need you. Get out of there. Uh, did I just break a hole in the floor? I did. I broke a hole in the floor. That's a bad idea. Okay, we'll just we'll fix that. Uh, and then you see, they're still falling. They're still forming. Uh, and as I say, I think this this one is a really really good iron farm. It's redstoneless. There's nothing to worry about. It just runs 24 hours a day. Um, there's enough villagers that can sleep, work, and gossip uh, so that it's pretty much always running about every, you know, 20 to 30 seconds. You should get somewhere between one and four iron golems. Um, usually it's three. I'd say more, more often than not, it's three. Um, infrequently it's two. It's almost never one. But if you build this, uh, you'll get lots and lots of iron, uh, more iron than <laughs> than you really need. And this is much, much more efficient than the old style uh, iron golem farms from way back in the day. Uh, but the good news is if you have one of the old iron golem farms, you can just reconfigure the middle uh, where the water is. Uh, you can put down the beds and it's, it's really easy to build, especially if you have the villagers that were in the little cells uh, that used to be on the outside. That's, that's what I did in my world. I just let the, the villagers go into the middle uh, three golems there. Yeah, I'd let the, the villagers go into the middle and then I would just throw carrots at them until they bred every single one of the beds full. Uh, and once that was all done, once there was no more baby villagers, then I put the zombies in the corner uh, and it works like a charm. This is a really, really good farm. Uh, there is a slightly bigger version that I've built uh, where instead of three golems at a time, it is uh, roughly four golems almost every time. And the way to do that one is instead of just having this 11 by 11 spawning pad, uh, it's, it's a much bigger uh, spawning pad. So right here we've got uh, four spaces. If you make it eight spaces uh, so that you have a full... Well, let me see. Let me see if I can go off to another creative world and we'll show you. Okay, here we are in a different world and I'm just going to show off the slightly bigger version of this farm. Uh, as I mentioned, it's got eight 
uh, eight spaces along each side here so that you get the full water stream terminating in this three by three area. If you're not sure how to do this, uh, when you're doing the corners here, uh, I will just break this out. What you wanna do uh, when you're laying out your water is have a corner that looks like that and then fill up all the rest of it with water. Same thing over here. These, these bricks should be just like this. And then once you've got all the, the base water done, uh, really all you need to do is break that brick, that brick, that brick, uh, get yourself a bucket of water, burp, 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 uh, and then put the water on top and then just break the brick underneath. And that's how you get the nice corners so that no matter where an iron golem forms, he will be pushed towards the center. And if I just kind of fly up a little bit here and watch for a bit, okay, well, there's three iron golems that form there. Uh, this farm, this particular size usually has four. Uh, but sometimes three, and it's it's the exact same thing. It's you know it's all of the workstations in the corner except for uh, that corner there. I made it a little bit different, I suppose. Um, yeah, uh, this one I could have added uh, a couple more beds in each corner. I just uh, <laughs> I didn't put one extra bed, so that means that over here we've got a slightly bigger area for oh this guy. Oh, no, don't burn, don't burn, zombie, don't burn, don't burn to death. Come on, cool off. I should pour some water in there, shouldn't I? Yeah, so what I did here is instead of having the glass box right in the corner, I just, I went over by one. Uh, and it's not gonna make a huge difference when it's all done. Ooh, don't fall down there. Uh, but I just wanna show that <laughs> that from the sky, you can see that well, about every 20 to 30 seconds, you should get three or four iron golems forming in this farm. Uh, and this one, it's, it's only about uh, maybe, five ten percent faster than the smaller version and the reason why is because it takes so much longer for these golems to fall down through the hole in the middle which will allow you know all of the villagers to sort of gossip about needing another iron golem so really i would suggest building the smaller version uh, the bigger version here it will give you a little bit more iron per hour but only about you know like i say five to ten percent extra iron uh, and it's so much easier to build the small version. The small version works great. Uh, in fact, we have another one of the, the small versions over there. So here's the big version. Uh, if we fly away over here, we'll see the small version. And there's probably going to be some zombies burning up by the time we get there. Or maybe not. You never know. But here, again, is just a smaller version. Uh, it's, it's nice. It works. Uh, it's super easy to build. There's no redstone involved. And it just continually runs and will, like I say, it, it should give you somewhere between about 800 and 1,000 iron per hour. Uh, it's very, very effective. If you had a number of iron golem cells in your own world or in your own worlds, um, just convert them over to these new style ones. Uh, I don't think that they're going to make much in the way of changes uh, to the way that iron golems form. Uh, I think the reason why they did it was because if you've had villages in Minecraft for a while, you know that a zombie siege or, you know, anything <laughs> that happens, uh, one zombie can come in and completely wipe out a village in no time. So I think that what Mojang and the developers have done is that they've decided we need to, to protect towns. And that's the reason why these iron golems can generate so quickly with, with the gossip. As long as people are working and sleeping uh, and gossiping about it, uh, it will make an iron golem as soon as there's a zombie uh, to be seen anywhere. And I don't think that's going to change because if they change it, it'll just go back to the way that you would have a village that would just be destroyed by a single zombie in under five minutes. So uh, anybody who tells you, you know, don't build an iron farm right now, uh, I tend to disagree. I think you can build one of these iron farms and it's going to continue to work this way uh, for quite some time. And you'll notice I like to put uh, vines all the way around things just because I think it looks neat. Uh, and this one has not been built for long, so you're not going to see a lot of vines. But in my single player world, uh, you'll see I've got vines all the way from the very top. I've got one of the bigger iron golem cells down below because I, ha I had two... Uh, Doc M style iron golem cells. So I had one down below and one way up in the sky. I made the smaller version up in the sky and the bigger version down below. Uh, and now I'm getting so much iron that I really need to consider possibly even getting rid of the lower one. Uh, although there's a lot of villagers in there now. Anyway, guys, that is 
And that is how you build a nice 1.14.3 compatible iron farm. Uh, you don't need any redstone. You don't need to push up blocks to hide the zombies from people. In fact, uh, from my own testing, uh, I have found that that is detrimental. It will slow down the farm. Uh, and I think the reason why that is, is this farm is just big enough that there's always three people right in the middle, right where the, the hole is here, that are not being scared by the zombies. So, uh, you know, due to the fact that people just run around and they mill back and forth, uh, you're going to get different people sleeping and different people working uh, and everybody gossiping during the day. So this just works out great. There's no reason to do any redstone. Uh, it, it only slows things down. And I'm very happy with this farm. In my own world, as I say, it, it runs like a charm. And you'll get more iron than, than you know what to do with. Uh, look, there's another three iron golems just plopped out of there. So that's it, guys. That's everything I can do to sort of show off these new style, newfangled iron golem farms. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this. I hope it's easy to build for you and your world. And if you like it, uh, drop a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, just to let me know that uh, these videos are, are going down well. And I will get to the world tour as soon as possible. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.